the alveolates meaning with cavities are a group of protists, considered a major clade in superphylum within eukarya, and are also called alveolata. Characteristics The most notable shared characteristic is the presence of cortical outer region, alveolite sacs. These are flattened vesicles sacs, packed into a continuous layer just under the membrane and supporting it, typically forming a flexible pellicle thin skin. In dinoflagellates they often form armor plates. Alveolates have mitochondria with tubular cristae ridges, and their flagellae or cilia have a distinct structure. Almost all sequenced mitochondrial genomes of ciliates and apicomplexia are linear. The mitochondrial genome of Babesia microti is circular. This species is also now known not to belong to either of the genera Babesia or Thylaria and a new genus will have to be created for it. Classification Alveolata comprises around nine major and minor groups, which are very diverse in form, and are known to be related by various ultrastructural and genetic similarities. Ciliates Very common protozoa with many short cilia arranged in rows, and two nuclei Acavominidia Colponidia Dinoflagellates S. L. Mostly marine flagellates, many of which have chloroplasts. Perkinsozoa. Chromarida. A marine phylum of photosynthetic protozoa. Calpidelida. Boromonidida. Apicomplexa. Parasitic protozoa that lack axonemal locomotive structures except in game test Acavominidia and Colponidia were previously grouped together as colponments, a taxon now split based on ultrastructural analysis. The Acavominidia are closer to the dinoflagellate Perkinsid group than the Colponidia are. As such, the informal term, colponments, as it stands currently, covers two non-sister groups within alveolata, the acavominidia and the colponmidia. The apicomplexa and dinoflagellates may be more closely related to each other than to the ciliates. Both have plastids, and most share a bundle or cone of microtubules at the top of the cell. In apicomplexins this forms part of a complex used to enter host cells, while in some colorless dinoflagellates it forms a peduncle used to ingest prey. Various other genera are closely related to these two groups, mostly flagellates with a similar apical structure. These include free living members in Oxorize and Colponema, and parasites in Perkinsis, Parvolucifera, Rastromonas, and the Elobiopsids. In 2001, direct amplification of the rRNA gene in marine picoplankton samples revealed the presence of two novel alveolate lineages, called group 1 and 2. Group 1 has no cultivated relatives, while group 2 is related to the dinoflagellate parasite Amoebophria, which was classified until now in the Syndinialis dinoflagellate order. Relationships between some of these major groups were suggested during the 1980s, and a specific relationship between all three was confirmed in the early 1990s by genetic studies, most notably by Gajadar et al. Cavalier Smith introduced the formal name alveolata in 1991, although at the time he actually considered the grouping to be a paraphyletic assemblage, rather than a monophyletic group. Some studies suggested the haplosporids, mostly parasites of marine invertebrates, might belong here, but they lack alveoli and are now placed among the circozoa. Phylogeny Based on a compilation of the following works. Recent research indicates that the dinoflagellata actually emerged in the Perkinsi. Furthermore the Perkinsi emerged in the Apicomplexa. Taxonomy Alveolata Cavalier Smith 1991 Alveolato Phylum Ciliophora Dauphline 1901 Stat. N. Copeland 1956 Ciliata Purdy 1852 Infusoria Butchley 1887 Ciliae, Ciliazoa, Cytoidea, Eozoa, Heterokaryota, Heterokaryota, Subphylum Postciliodesmatophora Gerasimova and Sarabin 1976 Class Heterotrichia Stein 1859 Class Caryorlichia Corlis 1974 Subphylum Intramacronucleata Lin 1996 Class Mesodineae Chen et al. 
2015 Infrafilum lamellicorticata class Letostomatia small and Lin 1981 class Armifuria Lin 2004 class Cariacotrichia orsi et al. 2011 class Spiritrichia Butchley 1889 Infrafilum ventrata Cavalier Smith 2004 Contrape Lin 2012 Order Discotrichida Chen et al. 2015 class Protocruzua Chen et al. 2015, Protocruzidia de Puiturek, Grain and Mignet 1987, Class Calpidia Small and Lin 1981, Class Nasiferia Small and Lin 1981, Class Philopharyngia de Puiturek et al. 1974, Class Prostomatia Sheviakov 1896, Class Plagiopolia Small and Lin 1985, Sensu Lin 2008, Class Oligohymenophoria de Puiturek et al. 1974 Phylum Myozoa Cavalier Smith 1987 Subphylum Kolponmidia Tikonenkov Milnikov and Keeling 2013 Class Kolponmia Cavalier Smith 1993 Subphylum Akavomonadia Tikonenkov et al. 2014 Class Akavomonadia Tikonenkov et al. 2014 Subphylum Myzozoa Cavalier Smith 2004 Infrafilum Apicomplexa Levine 1970 Amend. ADL et al. 2005 Order, Betrelli de Cavalier Smith 2017 Class, Mizamonidia Cavalier Smith and Chow 2004 Sensu Ruggiero et al. 2015 Class Chromaria Order Kalpadelida Patterson and Zolfel 1991, Spiramonidita Krylov and Milnikov 1986, Superclass Sporozoa Lukert 1879 Stat. November. Cavalier Smith 2013, Gamontozoa, Class Blastogregarinida Chatton and Vilnov 1936, Blastogregarinina, Blastogregarinorina Chatton and Vilnov 1936, Class Paragregaria Cavalier Smith 2014, Class Gregarinomorphia Grasse 1953, Class Coxidiomorphia Doffline 1901, Infrafilum Dinozoa Cavalier Smith 1981 Amend. 2003 Order, Acricolida Cavalier Smith and Chow 2004 Order, Rastramonidida Cavalier Smith and Chow 2004 Class Squirmidia Norin 1999 Stat. November. Cavalier Smith 2014 Superclass Perkinsozoa Norin et al. 1999 S.S. Class Perkinsi Levine 1978, Perkinsosita Levine 1978, Superclass Dinoflagellata Butchley 1885 Stat. November. Cavalier Smith 1999 Sensu Cavalier Smith 2013 Dinozoa Cavalier Smith 1981. Class Pranoctolusia Class Elobiopsia Cavalier Smith 1993 Elobiophysi I Loblik 3 1970 Elobiopsida Whistler 1990 Class Mizodinia Cavalier Smith 2017 Class Oxyria Cavalier Smith 1987 Class Sindinia Chatton 1920 S. L. Sindinia I Loblik 3 1970 S. S. Sindina Cavalier Smith Class Endodinia Cavalier Smith 2017 Class Noctilusophysi I Fensum et al. 1993, Noctilusi Haeckel 1866, Noctilusia Haeckel 1866 Stat. November, Cystoflagellata Haeckel 1873 Stat. November, Butchley 1887, Class Dinophysi I Pascher 1914, Paradinia Ehrenberg 1830 Stat. November, Wettstein. Development the development of plastids among the alveolates is intriguing. Cavalier Smith proposed the alveolates developed from a chloroplast containing ancestor, which also gave rise to the chromista, the chromalveolate hypothesis. Other researchers have speculated that the alveolates originally lacked plastids and possibly the dinoflagellates and apicomplexa acquired them separately. However, it now appears that the alveolates, the dinoflagellates, the chromarida and the heterocant algae acquired their plastids from a red alga with evidence of a common origin of this organelle in all these four clades. Evolution A Bayesian estimate places the evolution of the alveolate group at approximately 850 million years ago. The alveolata consist of mysozoa, ciliates, and colponments. In other words, the term mysozoa, meaning to siphon the contents from prey, may be applied informally to the common ancestor of the subset of alveolates that are neither ciliates nor colponments. Predation upon algae is an important driver in alveolate evolution, as it can provide sources for endosymbiosis of novel plastids. The term mysozoa is therefore a handy concept for tracking the history of the alveolate phylum. 
The ancestors of the alveolate group may have been photosynthetic. The ancestral alveolate probably possessed a plastid. Chromarids, apicomplexins, and peridinine dinoflagellates have retained this organelle. Going one step even further back, the chromarids, the peridinine dinoflagellates and the heterocant algae possess a monophyletic plastid lineage in common, i.e. acquired their plastids from a red alga, and so it seems likely that the common ancestor of alveolates and heterocants was also photosynthetic. In one school of thought the common ancestor of the dinoflagellates, apicomplexins, Culpidella, Chromarida, and Boromonas was a mysocytotic predator with two heterodynamic flagella, micropores, trichocysts, ropteries, micronemes, a polar ring and a coiled open-sided conoid. While the common ancestor of alveolates may also have possessed some of these characteristics, it has been argued that mysocytosis was not one of these characteristics, as ciliates ingest prey by a different mechanism. An ongoing debate concerns the number of membranes surrounding the plastid across apicomplexins and certain dinoflagellates, and the origin of these membranes. This ultrastructural character can be used to group organisms, and if the character is in common, it can imply that phyla had a common photosynthetic ancestor. On the basis that apicomplexins possess a plastid surrounded by four membranes, and that peridinine dinoflagellates possess a plastid surrounded by three membranes, Peterson et al. have been unable to rule are that the shared stramenopyle alveolate plastid could have been recycled multiple times in the alveolate phylum, the source being stramenopyle alveolate donors, through the mechanism of ingestion and endosymbiosis. Ciliates are a model alveolate, having been genetically studied in great depth over the longest period of any alveolate lineage. They are unusual among eukaryotes in that reproduction involves a micronucleus and a macronucleus. Their reproduction is easily studied in the lab, and made them a model eukaryote historically. Being entirely predatory and lacking any remnant plastid, their development as a phylum illustrates how predation and autotrophy are in dynamic balance and that the balance can swing one way or other at the point of origin of a new phylum from mixotrophic ancestors, causing one ability to be lost. References External links Tree of Life, Alveolates